Did you ever stand in the chips aisle of a grocery store, bewildered by all the options? Having too many choices is actually harder than a defined few. As an investor, buying ETFs can be a smart and low-cost strategy to build an optimal portfolio. Even experienced investor could be forgiven for feeling frustrated, with more than 8,000 exchange-traded funds or ETFs to choose from. I'm going to pour some great ideas on you folks, but before you continue watching, like this video, and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel hit the red subscribe button below. And now, here are some ways to narrow your options to learn how to invest. First, liquidity is important among markets. If investors want to be able to easily and smoothly get in and out of investments with no delays, market liquidity is critical. As a consequence, before entering a position, you have to be sure to monitor the liquidity of a stock mutual fund, security or financial market. Trading volume, regardless of the asset class, is an excellent indicator of liquidity. Second, tracking error. Tracking error shows an investment's consistency versus a benchmark over a given period of time. There are two ways to measure tracking error. The first way is to subtract the benchmark's cumulative returns from the portfolio's returns. The second way is more common, which is to calculate the standard deviation of the difference in the portfolio and benchmark returns over time, can be viewed as an indicator of how actively a fund is managed, and its corresponding risk level. Third. First Mover Advantage or market position. First mover is a company that gains a competitive advantage by being the first to bring a new product or service to the market. First movers typically establish strong brand recognition and customer loyalty. First mover is critical in the ETF world because, before others hop on the bandwagon, the first ETF issuer for a specific sector has a reasonable probability of acquiring the lion's share of assets. Because of their unique nature of ETF, several strategies can be used to maximize ETF investing. Strategy number one. Asset allocation helps investors reduce risk through diversification. The asset allocation ETF is consisting of many sub-ETFs. This provides in a single ETF the value of assets, global equities, and fixed income of a whole portfolio. This implies that you get an entire portfolio at a lower rate, comparable to those provided by robo-advisors. Strategy number 2. Swing Trading ETFs are known to be long-term investments, but these instruments are used by many swing traders to make money. They often have extremely low cost ratios. Swing trading is a method of trading that attempts within a time frame of one day to a few weeks, to catch a profit from an ETF price change. A swing trade has no fixed time limit, but the idea is to get in and out while catching a good part of a move, and then find something else that moves or is about to move. Strategy number three. Short selling. Exchange-traded funds or ETFs are classified like exchange stocks, as such they are also allowed to be sold short. Short selling is the practice of selling shares you don't own, but have borrowed, perhaps from a brokerage instead. What this means is that instead of waiting for a stock to trade above its last executed price or uptick, at the next available bid, the investor can sell short and reach the short position immediately. This is critical for investors who wish to join quickly to capitalize on the downward trend of the market. Strategy number 4. Hedging. ETFs are ideal hedging instruments for retail investors to manage exchange risk. 
Investors can easily access common trading and investment strategies used by hedge funds through hedge fund ETFs. Merger arbitrage, long slash short, and regulated futures comprise some of these strategies. Bottom line. As with stocks and several mutual funds, most ETFs pay their dividends on a quarterly basis. However, there are also ETFs available that provide monthly dividend returns. In fact, monthly dividend ETFs might not offer the highest returns, but they can be a great alternative to individual stocks. What I really like about ETF is that they give you access, including stocks, bonds and real estate, to various assets and investments in one fund. The dividend yield on these monthly ETFs is very consistent and, in a stock market downturn, some even protect your cash. As always, before committing your hard-earned cash, it is necessary to do your due diligence on any fund. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a single video.